Hello internet world and welcome to my review of the Manfrotto B3 three-way live advanced video photo tripod. This was sent in kindly by the manufacturer free of charge for this video and they haven't asked me to say anything in particular nor has any money exchanged hands. I'm just going to share with you my opinion and experience using this for the past couple of weeks. Now, the model number, I'm never going to remember this, so I'm going to read it off the box. This is what the box looks like, by the way. Uh, this is the MKBFR LA4BK3W. Uh, it actually extends to 151 centimetres. It is highest, uh, which is just over 59 inches. 132 centimetres at its lowest form. It compacts down to 40 centimetres, which also allows it to fit into the supplied bag which has a, a nice shoulder strap as well so nice that they include that uh, also it actually weighs just two kilograms or 4.41 pounds it's a four section tripod made of aluminium and you can put up to six kilograms or just over 13 pounds of payload on it so quite a large sort of uh, payload for such a, a small and compact tripod now I'm going to show you it in use very shortly I just want to talk to you a little bit more about the legs and the sections first of all before I show you the the head so we've got four section tripod here on the bottom we've got little rubberized feet and each of these sections comes out by uh, moving one of the clamps out and then extending the leg like so and then you clip this back into position and you can extend again so we extend another section and again clip it back into position. So let's do that with all three legs, just so you can see how easy this is to actually adjust. And then we're gonna set this down and I'll show you this awesome head. So one thing I would say is this is aluminium, it's not carbon fiber, uh, but it is still pretty light. I think it's a very um, a good sort of weight for a tripod of this quality. Now the center column has also got this uh, turning portion here. So you can turn this and actually extend that center column out. That's gonna allow us to get this to the right height. So now we can see this, um, this head, this video head. It's very, very compact. And I was really surprised about how sort of thin profile this is, but it still offers up really smooth very very smooth panning and that's thanks to the fluid drag system built in so we pop a camera on top so I've already put the uh, the mount that's included inside the box just here so we just need to extend this out to accommodate the mount like so and then we just tighten this up and you'll be able to see the camera in place uh, it takes a little bit of turning just to get this locked down there we go, that's now in place. So now that camera is fully locked down into place. Let's just make this a little tiny bit lower so that you can see that a bit better. There we go. So now we've got various controls around the tripod and bubble levels. Let me show you the bubble levels first. So you've got one bubble level here. There is also another bubble level on the back. And then if we turn this all the way round, there is also another one just here. So you can make sure your camera is completely level. And then we've also got this uh, turning handle here, which allows us to move the camera around into portrait or indeed into landscape orientation. And then we can lock this down by turning the handle. So that's how it's locked into position. And then this back handle here allows us to do the same, but on the other axis. So we can tip down or we can tip up. And even this motion is very, very smooth. So you can get those nice panning up and down shots. It is just so, so nicely weighted. A very, very nice action to this. And then of course, we can, when we've got it level, we can lock this back down by turning this handle. And then we've got another uh, friction knob just here, which we can loosen off so that we can pan left to right very smoothly, or indeed we can tighten this up a little bit for a bit more resistance and get those smooth panning left to right shots. How cool is that? This is a very, very good tripod. Look at this, just with one finger, a nice smooth panning shot. This is great for video work, of course, but you can still use it just as easily for photo work as well. The actual head does remove uh, completely, so you're left with the, the, the base, like the tripod legs. And I also discovered that this particular uh, video head 
is available as a separate purchase. So if you've already got a B-free tripod or a similar tripod that allows you to remove the existing head, that's very important, you must check you can remove the existing head on your tripod legs, then you could replace it with this uh, video photo head, which is absolutely awesome. I've been really impressed with this. It compacts down to a nice small size, nice and portable, but it gives plenty of support and really nice control over your shots. Very, very good indeed and highly recommended. So that is it for this video. If you want to pick up this tripod for yourself, I've left links down in the video description area. There's also links to just the head portion by itself and there's a link down there to the manufacturer's website. I want to thank you all for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, please do hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe, of course, and I'll see you in another video very, very soon.